Hey everyone, Norm from Tested here at Monster Palooza 2022, and there are monsters. A really massive one behind here from the mind of Chris Kinto and your collaborators. Chris, this is this is a massive. <laughs> yes. What is this creature? Uh, I call it the Crown Snatcher. Uh, I call it the Crown Snatcher because it's got a, a crown of teeth oh. and it snatches animals, usually invertebrates or flying creatures from the air, something we made up. And it's uh, set at 14 feet tall at the very top, 12 feet wide. So almost seven, eight feet, almost seven feet out. And it weighs in, at, we use about a half ton of monster clay. And uh, the armature itself is all steel, so I don't know what that weighs. It's quite oh a bit. Oh my God. So this booth here, not only are you showing the, the creature, it's a demonstration of the material oh, of absolutely. monster clay. Absolutely. And you said it's a thousand pounds of clay on top of a steel armature. Exactly. So yeah, just I'll be tooling away at this for a while. So yeah. Wow. So. We've seen, you know, people with Monster Clay, we've worked it before, we love the material, it holds up, but we've done small like maquettes and, and, and small things. How do you go about designing something of this scale using that material? You because we're used to using wet clay for the large stuff, you know? And so I wanted I knew how to transport this thing a ways a distance, and a wet clay would never hold up to that. So I was like, I got I gotta use an oil-based clay. Monster clay is my go-to clay. Everybody's got their go-to clay, monster clay is mine, and so it was just I started with the idea, like, oh, I'll make this creature. And then from there, you're just jumping over obstacles and loopholes, okay, how can, I make, how can I make it work this way or that way? And I don't like designing things where it's easier. Even though I just want the, the end game to look like this, and if I, whatever loopholes I got to get, you know, to get there, then yeah. we'll figure out a way to do it. But the beautiful thing about this is that it can sit like this as long as it's temperature controlled, right. indefinitely. We got AC Which, here. I love it. Yeah, I, I love it's gonna the hold. fact that I don't have to worry about wetting it down and things like that. But, yeah, you know. So, yeah. now, did you start with sketches, with studies, and different? I just or, made a quick maquette. You mm. know, just made a quick maquette, real small. I don't have a picture of it somewhere, but then I uh, said, okay, it's gonna. It was a lot less detailed than this. So then we just kind of made it up as we went along after we got the shape down. Yeah. And then uh, we had to make an oven for the clay because the, we're using so much clay, so our, our oven was huge. <laughs> it's, it's not your toaster oven. No, a little... it, was a mo it was half the size of it. It was a huge oven. Right. It could uh, heat half a ton at a time. We got one ton if we needed it, uh, so we only used a half a ton. And then it took two days to heat up the clay because of the, the, the sheer amount of clay we're using. And then we're able to just... It was a mocked up styrofoam Home Depot oven with a heater tube, and it, yes. it did it. And it, it worked like a champ. And so. allowed the working time for you to get your major forms. Exactly. And then exactly. work in all the details. And we always had the, the, the clay there, and, and, and it's always warm. As long as you, that's the trick with oil based clay, as long as you've got an oven or a big crock pot or something, always dip from like our, our little hairs, you know, just dip, melt the clay. As long as it's there, then you always have, it's almost like wet clay. It's, yeah. all, it's always pliable. Are you using any portable yeah. heat sources? Uh, any portable heat sources? Any heat guns? Or oh, anything? yeah. Uh, 100%. We have so the yeah. huge torches constantly blow. We went through several tanks. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And so, uh, yeah. And the little stuff, you know, you know, this stuff is fine. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Get it pliable. And are you doing it piecemeal? Like, you know, legs first, then arms? Or, or, and, or what was the kind of organizational? Yeah, no, it for was. Us? What it was is that I, you know we 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 did the armature, the armature, and then we did ch chicken wire, lots of chicken wire, and shaped it out, and then filled it with spray foam, just cheap mm, Home Depot stuff. Got it, you know got what I mean? Because I didn't want to pay a lot of money. And then you can see the form, like, oh, okay, this is good. And then we even covered it in fiberglass, and then we did the whole thing together. And then we're like, okay, oh, this is three inches too fat. Let's cut that off. And right. Kind of like, okay, it shaped it out, but then yeah, it's just. This was just a big ball at first. We didn't even know what the head was going to look like. We knew we were yeah. going to put something there. We just kind of made it along as we went. So. Yeah, and I see you're still working on it, like adding things, oh, yeah. details to the eyes, yeah. the little mouths that make the, the yeah, eyes. Yeah, so that we just yeah did that today, and I'll be, you know, you can go on and on with this. Of course, you know, the detail of course. Work, but, yeah, know. and all the pour work here. I yep. love that, the transition from the yep. pour work to the more rougher edges, the one almost like coral. Yeah, right? exactly. And for this, it's simple because we need with this we had a deadline, so you have. Three weeks to make this thing look presentable, not just done, but like good at Monster Palooza. But how can we make something to cover a lot of space easy and fast? Mm. So like this, this is just shredded monster clay, and we just melted it on. Oh. And all of this is just melted clay and wrapped in trash bags. Let it cool and then pour it off. Oh, that's done. how you get that that kind of uh, inflated exactly organic, bulbous look. Exactly. Yeah. So that's real trick. You know, just quick stuff. But people are like, oh, it's amazing, but because. There are a million ways to skin a cat. You yeah, know, you just want to yeah. try and make it look good still, but yet 
meet that deadline. Yeah, and then also like the, your kind of fin work here too. Yeah. Yeah, how, how is that done? That's good, so we just smooth that out and then we just use the, make it really smooth. Me. No. So we have these pipes coming through and these, these break down in sections so they come ah, apart. Got it. And then we just smooth that down with mineral spirits or 91% alcohol, work it, and then that's the hardest part, getting it smooth. It yeah. just, oh, it drives me crazy. Yeah. So that's why that's the only smooth part in, the, in this area here. Well, it's so striking. And then uh, transporting this, getting it in situ here, what was that like? We had to drive it from Carmel, California, so that was six hours. Drove in the middle of the night so that it wouldn't melt during the sun of the day. Yeah. And so we had to, it was quite a bit of work. It was on a 10-foot trailer, so the, the back leg hung off. It's 12 feet long. And then we just, uh, we were, we, we, we totally settled it figured it out ahead of time, like what kind of ramps to get into place, can it make the ramps, things like that, and elevator height and blah, blah, blah. But then, yeah, we got into place and we had a, a post in here to support the whole weight while we're driving over the bumps. And, and we took the post out and it sets there beautifully. It's not gonna you know, fall on itself, but it's, 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 it's working. <laughs> Amazing. And then where does this go after Monster Palooza? Is it Sunday night after Monster Palooza, we destroy it. You destroy it? Yeah, we just tear it apart. Wow. Ship the clay back and just it goes to the dump. It was wow. just for three days, just to get the imagination. The second you work on this, you start working on it, you've got 10 other monsters in your head you want to make. And I'm all ready for 10 other monster paloozas. So this has got to go. Got no room for it. Wow. Well, I'm so. so glad that we were able to get it, see it in person, captured in video. And Chris, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Congratulations on a wonderful, beautiful creature. Thank you very much. Creature. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.